Yeah, I think it's gonna be one of the biggest games for for the whole group. Um, I think the team who come close to Australia, even I think Australia is better than that team, is Qatar, which we faced a few years back. But I think Australia is another level uh, than than Qatar, so it's it's gonna be a good experience for all the players, but. But as coach said, we also want to compete and we want to show ourselves. Uh, we know it's going to be a very tough match, uh, but we have to make the best out of the match tomorrow. Hi, coach. Uh, the Australian uh, coach was saying earlier that they will be trying to play backyard football. Uh, I think that is more like showing their skills and everything. Uh, what will Bangladesh try to show uh, the Austra to the Australian crowd and also the Australian football team? We need to be competitive tomorrow. We want to be able to show our identity to be ourselves somehow. We know how challenging it's going to be and how uh, strong Australia is going to be, especially at home. Uh, but we want to be to try to show what Bangladesh have been doing in the last year, especially on the last two years. We are slowly improving and being a better team and being able to compete with some good teams in the continent. Um, hopefully, at least for some time, we will be able to to fight and at least make things as uh, difficult as possible for, for Australia. Jamal, Bangladesh uh, question to you. You have played Australia Australia. Uh, Australia ebong e Australia bipokkhe ekono khelen nai kintu dutar bhetore kon ta ke giye rakhben oi Australia te team Cahill Aaron Moy naam kora footballer chilo etai hoyto nai kintu performance wise etar output abar beshi ei dutar bhetore ektu difference ta ektu bolben ar kon ta ke ektu giye rakhben to be honest mane J team am na face korchi 2015 oi khane onek high profile chilo team Cahill Jedinak i think you Loingo so at a team he can mane jeta as a maximum or mane top top club khelena but they are playing in good leagues um, the scottish league and then championships uh, but do you have a pondro team or mane onek player or premier league khelse so if i have to choose i i think 2015 Yeah, sorry. No, okay. Uh, Jamal, tomorrow you will get a huge support from the Bangladeshis who are staying in Australia. How does it feel when you play uh, outside of your country? Uh, anywhere we play in the world or any country we play in the world and we see Bangladeshi support us, it make us happy to be honest because uh, we know they're gonna support us and give everything they can to to give us maybe one or half percent extra motivation or ten percent extra motivation so so for us it's also to show them that uh, we have a good team and Bangladesh has some good players and uh, any messages for the Bangladeshi people in Bangla language <laughs> Na team e jorno doa koren, amar shadhe thako. Ami jani e match onik tough hobe, kintu amra mane ekta bhalo result korte chai, inshallah. Jamal, uh, you said that this Bangladesh team is a different team now. They are developing. What do you think? Which are the criteria of development in recent times of this team? No, I think we have more structure. We have a better organization than we had uh, in 2015. Um, also, quality-wise, uh, I think we have much, much more quality uh, in, in the team now. And, and as I said, there's more structure now. Um, we know what we want. We know what we, we, we can do. Uh, we know our weaknesses. We know our strengths. Um, so for me, that's the biggest difference. Okay, my uh, next question is to coach. Uh, 
Australia is far better team in case of FIFA ranking. Uh, what do you think? What about the tactics against this strong team? Uh, and uh, will you be a defensive or uh, Bangladesh will try to score? <laughs> well, we'll try to score, hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some chances. Uh, as I said before, I think we have to try to be at ourselves as much as possible. That is that uh, way of playing or that idea of uh, playing is what has brought us uh, here and to take this opportunity. And I don't think we would get anything from changing that just for a game. Uh, we have to take the best from here and uh, make sure that after this experience the team is a better team, that we are better individuals and we are going to be able to compete with the other two teams uh, in a closer way to, to get some points. So hopefully we will have the chance to show what we are, uh, at least for some time. Um, question for Coach Cabrera, Joey Lynch, um, freelance from Australia. Australia, one of their strengths are from set pieces and this current squad, two centre-backs, Sutar and Burgess, two metres tall, Cassini, Yangi, Mitch, Duke up front, very good in the air. How do you go about defending or attempting to defend these giants at set yeah. pieces? Yeah, right. I think it's one of the points that we have discussed for longer since we know we are playing uh, uh, with Australia. Uh, we were talking, we were discussing with the, with, the, with the staff many times that for us, Australia as a whole uh, is one of the best, definitely one of the best teams in Asia and one of the best teams in the world. But if, when we talk about set plays, uh, probably, if not the best, is the top five in the world, no doubt. So, the way they organize, the way they are work, uh, the discipline they have in, uh, in these kind of situations, plus the size and the physical superiority, obviously for teams like us, is a huge challenge. So, hopefully we will be able to, to, to fight. Hopefully we will be able not to give too many uh, set plays or corner kicks or wide free kicks, especially for them. But uh, we will see tomorrow. We will see tomorrow. Obviously, we have prepared, but uh, we will see tomorrow how we manage. Yeah. Coach, following up that question, uh, do you think that second ball is going to be, winning the second ball is going to be very important for Bangladesh tomorrow? Yeah, well, uh, I don't know if second ball, but uh, we'll have to be extremely, we talk with the players. This kind of uh, games and this kind of level that for us is the next level, or even against Australia is two, three more levels, uh, we cannot compete at the same level that we have done before. The, the level of concentration and attention, especially in this kind of situations, has to be 200%. Uh, so it's not going to be that much about uh, which zone of the inserted place to defend, but... Uh, that we have to be absolutely focused in every single action uh, to, to minimize the, the danger that they have, in, especially, especially in set plays. Uh, Sohel Rana is not playing in that game. Uh, have you found the replacement for him, or have you got your starting 11 in your mind? Yeah, we have the replacement. It's a little bit difficult because he's a, quite a profile that is more complete in that sense, that he's a player that is able to manage situations with ball, but he's also one of the stronger players in the team and in, in set plays is a, is a good asset for us. But uh, yeah, other players are ready. Uh, that's the good thing we have, uh, that we have a lot of especially young players wanted, uh, wanting to get an opportunity to show themselves and, and tomorrow another one will come on and, and show, show what uh, they, can, uh, they are capable of. Uh, Coach Josh Parrish from Stats Perform. Uh, we heard that there was a bit of a last-minute scramble to secure a training ground for you guys the other day. Did that get sorted out, and has your preparation been affected in any way? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we heard there was a bit of a last-minute scramble to secure the training venue. Uh, did that get sorted out, and has your preparation been affected at all? It's been a little bit challenging because, uh, the, well, uh, we were provided a, um, a pitch from a local club that the people was fantastic and brilliant. They treated us uh, very politely and like, uh, like home. But uh, especially the, the issue was the dimensions of the pitch were not um, the official dimensions. So that was a bit of um, a challenge, let's say, but uh, it's okay. I mean, there's no, there's no excuses about that. Uh, we were training uh, fine, and, and yeah, we will be ready for, for tomorrow. Yeah. 
And one more. Um, I read about your background. You have a background as a, a data analyst in football yeah. before. How does that inform your approach to coaching? Yeah, I was lucky to to work almost eight years as a uh, as an analyst, data analyst for for Opta, a long time long time ago. Uh, when I was starting to to coach, definitely. Well, that gives you. We used to to watch so many games every month, like around 60, 70 games a month. So from every single league in the world. So yeah, at the end, uh, yeah, I, you have that approach. No, you look more at the detail and the technical, tactical uh, wise. Uh, I would say that uh, well, uh, we have a good level in terms of that. But uh, yeah, definitely helps to 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 be a better coach at this level now.